Hello. Um, today we're going to do the pencil stage of a drawing. Uh, this is a portrait of a house, and the house we're going to draw is this one that you can see on the screen now. Uh, I have done already the pen stage. There are two stages to the drawing. The pen stage has been done, so I brought it here with me today so we can concentrate only on the pencil and ma mainly the erasing of the pencil. So what I want to start with is taking a very soft pencil. I use a 9B pencil. And we're going to start to fill in all the picture um, with a 9B. I decided that the shade on this picture will be on the left. Although on the photo itself, if you look, the shade is on the right. But to make it more effective for me here, I want to do the shade on the left. So everything on the left of the picture is going to be darker than the rest. And I'm going to just fill up everything with the pencil here. This is the side of the house that has tile hung. And also the brick underneath. We're just going to fill it all up. The trees in the background very gently. As you see, I'm holding the pencil nearly, nearly lying down on the, pa on the paper. And I'm just going to do the background trees very, very gently. I don't want to do any more than that. I don't want them to interfere with the main focal point of the picture, which is the house itself. Little stone wall. I'll give it a bit of, a, a bit of color. And then all the rest, even the areas that are in the light, in the sunlight, we're just going to fill up with softer pencil. These are the tiles and the bricks, the roof tiles here. With the roof tiles, I'm going to give long strokes like that. And I'm doing it with the direction of the tiles alongside the perspective lines. Uh, this is a two-point perspective picture. Everything on the right-hand side of the picture is going to the point on the right, and everything on the left is going to the point on the left. And also, when I'm filling up the pencil, I'm doing it with the same thinking and focusing on those perspective lines. So that's the roof. Now the chimney here, one side is darker than the other. So I'm going to fill up with the pencil the dark first. And then all the lighter part, just like that. Much more gentle. And of course, the shade will reflect here diagonally a bit on the piece that is sticking out. Uh, we have a wisteria growing here. I'm going to fill it up with color too, a bit stronger than the wall itself on the bricks, and mainly stronger on the lips of the wisteria that are in the shade, and lighter in the middle. Uh, the window frame itself is dark, so I'm going to fill that up a bit. And also we have shade under the rain hose here, under the gutter. We do a strong shade line that comes in all along. Now this side of the porch, that will be in shade, so all of this roof is going to be shaded alongside with the wall here. And here we have a diagonal shade that's going down from the porch down to here, and it joins the porch over there. So this is all going to be in the shade. This little plant here will have it having shade on the window itself. The shade of the house on the side goes diagonal to that side. And I'll just finish off by putting this dark wooden door with a strong pencil like that. And these beams also. And all the, the rest of the bricks. And you have herringbone bricks here, diagonal ones also with a bit of pencil, but not very strong. We have this side of the wisteria that is in the dark, and all the rest of the wisteria here is going to be very light, because it's also further away from me. I don't want to give it too strong. The eye, I want the eye to go to the porch. That's the main focal point. But I'm still going to fill it up with color. I call it color, but it's the soft pencil. I just call it color because I do everything black and white. 
And last here is the chimney that has all the wisteria on it. One side very dark, on the other side a bit lighter. And a bit of the trees at the background, not too much. And here we have some grass. I'll just give it a hint for the grass here and here and here. And that's it. We don't want to put any more at this stage. Um, so we finished with the pencil. And now what we're going to use is a smudger or a blender. It's just a cardboard piece of smudging thing that you can buy in the SSA shop. And what we do, we smudge everything. Everything that has pencil is going to be smudged now. And I'm smudging and also drawing with it. So if I'm smudging a tree, I'm drawing it in the same kind of direction of a tree. And if I'm smudging the wall here or the tile hung, it will be in the same direction of the tile hung. We don't leave anything not smudged. So everything is going to be smudged. We can do this very quickly. And just smudge everything. And the tile roofs in the same direction of the perspective as before. The dark side of the porch. Some shade under the porch here, the door, all the bricks. All the wisteria there. We have the chimney on the side and some of the trees on the side there. A bit of smudging of the grass and that area. So we finished the smudging. And now we take a eraser pen. And with this, we just want to mend places that maybe we went out uh, with the smudger or the pencil. I like to do the ridge of the roof with the pen, the eraser pen. And everywhere where there's a shadow line, I like to emphasize with the pen, just like this. So it comes out nice and strong. And anything vertical, like these flowers here, anything vertical I can do with the pen, this eraser pen, and just clean it out. Another thing I like to do with the pen are long lines on the roof ridge, just to make it have light and darkness on it. And I'm going to just mend this line here of the wisteria. And the, mag the magic last part, we take an electric eraser and we start drawing with the electric eraser, for example, on the wisteria. And it actually brings it all out. We can highlight the chunks that are in the light, like that. This is just a very simple electric eraser like your dentist uses when he wants to drill your, your teeth, but it's just an eraser at the end. And also in the bricks, we can just emphasize a few bricks in, a few bricks out, just like that. Also on the chimney, a few bricks in, a few bricks out. If you do some bricks or tiles that are in the shade and they're too strong, you can always blend them afterwards. The herringbone, we can do one yes, one no, a few touches here. And you can also add one or two very dark uh, bricks if you want here and there. Sometimes you have. And if something is, uh, sorry, blended uh, faintly, you can actually blend it more and make it like that. And the only thing that's left at the end is erase all the bits that you smudged just to clean the background. And the last little tip I have is when you have background trees like this, I just wet my thumb and give it a little smudge here at the end.
And just a final touch, we can just emphasize here these wooden beams of the door. And it pops out just like that. And we have it finished.